Hi everyone, I am reporting to you from the Metropolitan Lounge of Union Station here in Chicago. Um, what am I doing at Union Station? Well, we are setting out on our next big solo adventure. I will be doing a nine-day tour of the Southwest via a company called Vacations by Rail. This is my first time going along with Vacations by Rail. This is my first time going to this part of the country. I will be a part of a nine-day long escorted tour group across Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. So this is going to be very different from anything I've ever done in the past. Uh, hopefully we meet some great people. Hopefully we make some amazing memories. Let's go. It's not the same. Upstate New York has so much more yeah, beauty up there. I hear it's got beautiful lakes and stairs on Amtrak. Yeah. Let's go. Oh boy. I think we're going to get along just fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is on my right. Thank you. Here it is. Look. You must be right next to me. Five right here. Yeah. Here I am. Number five. My roommate. All right, girls, strike a pose. <laughs> no, you too, get in here. Oh, on that side? No, we're just, can you get her? Yeah, I got you. I'm standing in someone's room, but. All right, well, Nancy, since I saved your life already, I can't wait to see how you return the favor for me. Okay, all right, I will. Just let me know when you need help. Even if I did criticize you, your water of breaking. Yeah. There, there we go. <laughs> For those of you wondering what just happened, her water bottle rolled under her seat of her roomette. She needed some help getting it out. She was like, my water. And I'm like, what, your water broke? And then the whole train car laughed. <laughs> so we got us the party car. It's weird the feeling of walking through this train. London. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I love to listen to them talk. I love their accent. That's so cute. Yeah, yeah, they're from London. Oh, wow. Yes. Cute couple. Yeah, beautiful couple. You ever yeah. been to London there, Eric? No, no. My, my two trips in, 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 uh, in Europe that I want to do, I'm going to hit the beginning of Amsterdam. Of course. <laughs> and then I'm going to hit Sicily. And that's it. And that's the only two parts that I'm going to Sicily is very nice. They oh, go to like, depending oh, on how many, they're going to knock off. Mm -hmm. Depending on how okay, many. Okay, now I understand. Hey, okay. Turret! We got her! Wait, <laughs> Wait tour director after a bloody beer. That's nice. <laughs> Well, I was hoping I would meet fun, entertaining people here on this tour. It's off to a pretty interesting start. <laughs> All right, we're going to be going to our dinner reservation soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next station stop coming up shortly will be that of Mount Pleasant. For now, don't go before. Because they don't want you standing. He's laughing. <laughs> because I said it, didn't I, Ken? Yes, you did, Beth. <laughs> there you go. All right, then just wait right there. Wait right here. Wait right here. Come on back, love. Wait back here. Oh. Amtrak steak, chicken breast. You don't see a hand. You don't see anything. No. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, 
<laughs> the ghost, it's, the ghost is moving your head. I'm getting freaked out now. Is that a joke? What is that? There's nothing on there. Because it's true. It looks like it's a rasp. <laughs> okay, this is the second one is gone. That's all we're trying to figure. It's like me, it was like that. It was like I don't know how to do that. I told you she was broke. She's like, no, you took great pictures. There's a lot of pictures. Yeah, but you got the supernatural one. The first one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so they're convinced it's a ghost. It's a live face. It looks like a train. <laughs> <laughs> do, do the photos all like move just as you? Evidently. Well, wait a minute. When you blow it up, look at the spookiness. <laughs> right in time for Halloween. Up and out. Yeah. I think he can't make it with us. And right. We want to. see you know, your head's going to be there, you ah, going okay. this way. Her, her head should be here. We're going to have to tip him oh. big. I mean big tips for this. <laughs> we're trying, we're trying to, we're trying to get my bed up. We can't move. We can't, you know, you can't go on the other way. Tony, you having a problem, huh? No, yeah. it's oh. an adventure. It's an adventure. <laughs> I know that. This whole thing is an adventure. And <laughs> don't forget the step stool. So I'll put it at the foot of your bed, okay? We put my uh -huh. luggage up there. Of course, it's going to be room for me. Okay. Then you take this down oh, to get in, it. and yeah. then you put it back. Uh, here's the problem. Okay, what but wait. To get out of the middle oh, there. Of the night. Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who said I got the top bunk? <laughs> no. You take it. Okay. I don't care. I'll try it. <laughs> look at this. Look, look at hers and then look at mine. Mine, is, mine has a guardrail. We are holding people up here. You retracted the whole <laughs> train. The whole train wants to save Oh my God. That's <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Bye tomorrow. All right. Good night. 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 Good Bless your heart. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you got pictures. Okay, get pictures. <laughs> Foot goes on top of that next step. Not on my bed. <laughs> Don't you step on my cheese. <laughs> I step up on your There you go. You got it. You definitely want to put it back. Yeah. I thought she won't. Is that, is that Tony? Yes, it's Tony. Oh, then you just sort of roll over into that. Oh, oh be careful. Oh. All right, and then, <laughs> there, there you go, flipping the bird. <laughs> and then you just gotta hook it back up. <laughs> She's coming back. She's coming back. <laughs> Get up there. Safety. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> No, go that way.
Yes, we're still trying. <laughs> Ken, you better be careful because they may take over your room and Lord knows where you're sleeping. <laughs> takes us to the end of our first night here on Amtrak and what a night it was. As you can see, my roomette has turned into my bed, my sleeping corner. has got my phone charging up. I've got the blanket, bed's all made up, two pillows. So let's get this. And it Velcros there so you can keep it shut in front of the windows. So then what I will do is turn that light on, turn these overhead lights off, oh, and look at that. Ugh. Just sitting on a train, cruising through the night. I don't know what could be more relaxing and tranquil than this, especially after as wild of a day this has been. Uh, so tomorrow we're on the train until 4 p.m. when we will disembark in Grand Junction, Colorado. So folks, we will see you then. Good night. This is my first time going to Cal uh, Colorado in general and seeing the Rockies, the heart of them by rail, where there's no roads, no nothing, just going through the Rockies like this is just absolutely outstanding. And this is by far one of the most beautiful routes I've ever taken. So yeah, now we're in the Moffat Tunnel, so it'll be 12 minutes <laughs> before we see daylight again. So. We got that going for us. I just want to give positive props to our tour manager because we're here at the Grand Junction Amtrak station and uh, unfortunately the bus was caught behind a semi-truck fire so it couldn't show up but uh, our tour director finagled all these cabs and rides and you know we all improvised like crazy and it, it came off so positive positive feedback to you. And after that debacle, we have made it to the Doubletree by Hilton, Grand Junction, Colorado. This is a really big room. It's really nice. It's all mine, too. So here we are, and after that whole cab situation worked itself out, so I'm, I'm here at the Doubletree, checking in. Very nice, cute girl, Sierra, checking me in of the three counters. And uh, I was waiting in a line, so I watched a whole bunch of other people get checked in from all three counters, including hers. And uh, when I checked in, I finished up, and she goes, Ken, would you like some cookies to take up to your room? And then she gives me two cookies. 
really hot and like freshly made that no one else got in her line or the other lines while I was waiting. So I, 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 I it's a very animated floor for a hotel. Tonight's dinner is looking like it's gonna be Freddy's. Looks pretty much the same as the ones we have back in Illinois. This is a request by Jackson. I asked him before going on this trip, is there anything stupid you want me to do for the video? Make it funny. And uh, this was his suggestion, or one of them. So here it goes. can't go wrong when this is on. Alright, well, I am back in my room for tonight and I'm uh, gonna shower and probably get rested up pretty early tonight because I don't think anyone on my whole tour group slept well last night on the train. Uh, even whether the coach people or the roomette people like I was in just trying to sleep while the train is jerking left and right, it's bumping up and down. I. I got like four hours of sleep last night and that was more than what a lot of people in my group said they got. So, see how it goes. But tomorrow is the first like actual day of the tour. Uh, we're heading to Moab, Utah tomorrow to Arches National Park. So that should be awesome. I have never been to Utah before. So I've never been to any of these states. So Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, we're crossing them all off the list. Having a lot of fun socializing with all the people here. They, they may be a lot older than me, even compared to the 80s in the sand people. Like, this is a pretty big age gap, but a lot of fun people, a lot of fun times. So, let the good times roll tomorrow, and we will see you there. Well, at least we know everybody on the bus is safe because Jim and Sadie are in the front to take That's care of everyone. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> introduce you to my great friend Donna. Hi, Hi Donna. Hi, Donna. Donna and I worked with one another in July. We did the Calgary Stampede, so we did um, the northern national parks like Glacier, and then we crossed the border into Canada, and we spent six or seven days in Canada uh, together. And so we. Um, we have a great working relationship and she's a lot of fun. Movie Thelma and Louise. Yeah. yeah. There's a scene in there where they're driving 90 miles an hour through the Grand Canyon, get pulled over by an Arizona police officer. If you go back and watch that scene, do you know what you're going to see? What you see right ahead of you. They were filming it right on this road right here, got pulled over roughly where that van is up ahead on the right hand side. They were definitely not in the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Has those nice uh, short needles on it, pine cones as well. I bring my bike bright pink bottle so that we can I can see it. So if you want a picture with yourself at the balanced rock, I'm gonna have you stand right here in the sunshine okay. and I'll take a picture for you. Okay, thanks. There you go, stop right there. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> the reward for taking the primitive trail. Yeah. Can we take a picture of me in front of it? When you're done. I would be honored to, Melinda. Arches National Park. Yeah, this is most certainly unlike anywhere I've ever been before. Look at that.
right under it. Cool. Getting my rock climbing exercise in today. Elvira. Coop was here. Hey, Coop. October 1st, 23. Oh, wow. R&D. Oh, these are real people. <laughs> these, are, these are real people. These are not ancient. Yeah, no, these, ancient. Are, these, these are, are not ancient. Are you saying the ancient people aren't real, Gene? <laughs> these, are, these are not ancient. <laughs> S&B 2022. <laughs> Are you gonna carve? <laughs> Am I gonna get arrested? I'll carve it in there. Nick Sh Nick Shuprit. gentlemen last year I was cruising New England and I, I happened to go to Newport Rhode Island met this lovely family who started calling me Kathy my full name is Kathy isn't that right ladies that's right, that's right. team name Kathy responsible because of your aunt <laughs> kind of I'm walking the streets of Moab, Utah. Look who I run into. All right, we gotta take a selfie together. We absolutely will. If if this is not like Dervine intervention, and she's from the Washington DC area, so neither yeah. of us are from the Southwest. All right. We're on the cruise, I'm walking down the street, boom. <laughs> that, wow. I just, I, okay, I just followed you. Yeah. Send me the picture. After driving through the scenic Colorado <laughs> mountains, seeing Arches National Park, our, our, like our, 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 love, our lovely <laughs> tour guide Beth right here has, take, has taken us to the best part of the whole trip right here. Where are we? Like, <laughs> like, we Cortez. Cortez, Colorado. Cortez, Colorado. Out of sight, new horizons. There's gonna be 
some noise complaints coming from our room tonight because right I'm okay. I'm 119 and you are Boys, one. Don't tell me we're 18. Oh no! Oh no no no. 118. And what? one uh, and I'm right, one. doesn't have a roof key. 17. <laughs> and I'm 119. Oh, uh -oh. you are looking 18, at 18, 19. Oh, trouble uh -oh. right here. This is where all the noise complaints are coming from tonight. Yep. The Far View Lodge of Mesa Verde National Park, and here I am, 119. All right, well, this is a nice little old rustic place. There we go. Got a nice little wardrobe. I'm assuming that's the next place. Bathroom, shower. There you go. And I get a balcony. Oh, look at it. Oh, Jesus, look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is the exact same table and chairs that I have at home, but okay, that's besides the point. Ugh. Yep, yep, yep. This is cool. into a different time period. Last trainers. Huh. It's a pool table. Pac-Man's Pixel Bash. Pixel Bash 2023. Big hustler back in the day, James. Uh -huh. Huh? Were you the big hustler? No, I wasn't the hustler, but I won a few bucks. <laughs> hey, hey, that, okay. You, you just want to be modest, okay? I understand. And you got the uh, what is that? The uh, Pac-Man type yeah, stuff. Yeah, over there? yeah, Pac-Man. And then even here is like a whole library. Yeah, the TV in here too, isn't that so? Monopoly, Battleship, Monopoly. Con Connect Four, Dominoes, Battleship. Isn't that so? I remember having played that since I was a kid. Huh. Books. James is going to be taking all the guys. Alfred. <laughs> Alfred. Yes, I'll be the butler of this establishment. You're, you're gonna you're gonna rally together all the guys from our tour and yeah. take all their money at the pool table. Yeah. That's Uh, the aviation dry and aromic. I'm assuming it's some kind of cologne or, or, or perfume. It looks I don't like. Know why they say serve over ice? Because I'm a aroma. Oh, uh, cocktails. So cocktail. Maybe. Okay, good. I was just reading aroma and stuff. <laughs> I think. My man came in to help me. Uh, my my, my man. My woman. My, my woman. Girl. Nancy. Yep, that's she, me. She needed help from her but bitch. But I needed help all day from my bitch. From her bitch, her big strong man. <laughs> Yay! Now, here I, am I mean, I only weighs 300 pounds. Oh, it's 300 pounds of love. <laughs> I know. There we go. Boom. Yeah, there, there. Do you want me to zip it up or keep it like this? Can you put it toward the back faces of all? Yeah. 
Like I can, oh, you can zip it, yeah. Just to make it easier to okay. whip if it's zippered. All oh, right. I had to zip it. She's All trying right. to make my life extra. Let's difficult. see those muscles. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, nice. I, I, I know it. I know it's heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, now, will you take me to dinner? You got it. All righty. Okay, I am back in my room here at the Far View Lodge in the Mesa Verde National Park, Colorado. Um, <laughs> what a day today has been. I was just sitting out on my balcony, all the stars. You hear the crickets chirping, you hear the leaves rustling out there. Um, my girl Ma Nancy is two rooms down, so you saw me helping her with her suitcase. Uh, but yeah, fun day, starting off Arches National Park, a lot of climbing, a lot of uh, physical activity there. But oh my god, I cannot get over that. Last year, August 28th to September 4th, I did, the name of the video is Halfway to 50, Ken's Breakaway Voyage. My first ever cruise that I did for my 25th birthday. I made so many amazing friends, I've kept in touch with almost all of them, except for this one girl named Morgan, who I had fun hanging with her and her aunts, and then I never saw her again the remaining days of the trip, so I couldn't get any of her information or anything. She's from Washington, D.C., and I'm from Illinois. And here I am walking down the streets of Moab, Utah, it was like out of a movie because I went into this bookstore knowing damn well I wasn't going to buy any books. But it's like I, I had to go in there to waste time. Because then when I walk out, I'm standing on the sidewalk of Moab in front of this bookstore. And there was like a clothing store. And then I just turned to my left. And I was wearing my sunglasses and she was wearing hers. And immediately I recognized her hair style. Like we t I turn and then I'm facing her. It was like out of a movie. At the exact same time in perfect sync, we both go like this, and we're both like, oh my god. So, I don't know how that happened. That The odds are, of something like that are astronomical. So that is just insane. <laughs> so tomorrow we're going to be driving through doing a more in-depth tour of Mesa Verde National Park. And uh, then we are going to head over to our hotel in Durango. So, there we go. Day three is in the books. Sunrise over Mesa Verde. There are about a hundred thousand people everywhere you can see at the height of habitation. I grew up, you don't have to tell me I sound like this, as long as I don't sound like I'm from South Jersey. Uh, and if there's anybody here from there, I'll be, there we go. Talk to me. No, she doesn't sound like she's from South Jersey. So the park is 52,000 to give you some perspective. The fire damage that starts from the high point in the park, a park point and goes all the way down to the entrance station, was 19,000 acres in the year 2000.
they use the correct hand so you're not a valid savage in the fight. The structure on the left is called Fire Temple. It is another set piece of public architecture. It's a ceremonial site. There was no evidence that they lived in it at all. All right? arrived in Durango at this very interestingly designed hotel. I'm up on 304. We're driving through Durango here and it looks like a really cute little town. So here we go. This is actually really cool. This doesn't even look like a hotel. There we go. Perfect overview of the pool. Got all the other rooms around. Let's see. 304. So I'm outside. 301 to 305, yeah, outside. <laughs> this isn't gonna sound an alarm, is it? It'd be a wonderful first impression. All right, there we go, 301. Three oh two, three oh three, three oh four. All right, here we go. There you go, I got two beds. This western. All right, nice, nice, nice. There's our best Western hotel. Now I am just setting off on a walk to go explore downtown Durango, Colorado. I love the vibes of these old vintage antique stores. Not even touching anything in here, but... <laughs> so all this ancient, you know, antique artifacts, and then there's Duran Duran just sitting right on the top. Now I found the old toy section. These old Christmas villages. Durango Mall. Looks like a go 
ghost town. Durango is a really cool town. I've enjoyed walking around, going to all these antique shops. Got my mom an ornament because I wasn't getting out of this trip without doing that. So yeah, if I got any train enthusiasts watching this, now is uh, now is your time. This is the inside of a caboose. Good morning, everyone. It's October 9th. I, I think it's Monday. <laughs> I don't, I've lost track of what day it is like I do whenever I go on these long trips. Uh, I really did not have too much to report from yesterday. Yesterday was a very chill, just kind of sightseeing day. You know, we started at the cliff dwellings, and then we just kind of came to Durango with the evening completely free at our leisure. Um, again, with the age group of this trip, and uh, me being the only person under the age of 70, um, it seems like most people were in their rooms by 6 or 7, uh, so it was just kind of me wandering Durango. <laughs> last night and we're actually staying in Durango in this hotel again tonight um so yeah I'm not sure what all's gonna happen there I'm really trying to stretch myself here and entertaining myself with the environment but uh today's agenda when I'm getting down to go to breakfast we are going on the Silverton Narrow Gauge Railway uh which you saw the museum of yesterday and the real old train station I'm really excited to ride an old steam engine um, as a kid, Thomas was my guy, so so that'll be cool. Little bonus for childhood me. And so then we're taking that from Durango into the town of Silverton, and then after Silverton, we're just coming back here for another free night. So let's see what happens. I'm almost starting to regret not bringing a winter jacket because it is in the 30s, and where we're going past 9,000 feet in elevation in Silverton, it's gonna be 10 degrees colder, so it's uh, it's gonna be a cold day, guys. Go see like the old classic steam engine right down there. Hey, you 
Okay. Yes. Our car. Yes. Seat number eight. And I think we're the only one who's a car. Here I am. Oh, nine and ten. Here we are. And a platform. The platform is a space between the cars while the train's moving. You can walk through the train, no problem. Just don't stand out there no looking around and taking pictures. So, yeah. <laughs> This coach has restrooms. There are two restrooms located at the rear of the car. The concession car, I lost count, but it's about five cars. <laughs> <laughs> Don't until you smell coffee. <laughs> uh, we'll be making a couple stops on the way to Silverton. Two of them are water for the locomotive. Anytime we stop, though, there'll be very brief stops. Don't anybody get off the train. Everyone sit tight till we get to Silverton, all right? My name is Frank. I'm taking care of the front part of the train. I'll be somewhere in the front. Five or six cars in Los Angeles. <laughs> Here comes trouble. Hi, Nancy. Hi. Okay. Female engineer too. Yep. Yay. Let's hear it for women. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. coming out over here and over there into the waterfall. Where's the water? Where's it coming from? Uh, the tape? Yeah. Hey, Sparky, did you get a picture of her? Yep, doing I that? did. She looks like she could be younger than me. Good for her. Is she out there still? Oh, yeah, Good right there. Good for her. Photo? Okay, let's see. Oh, there. Are you getting We're just there. We have officially entered the Old West. Saloon music playing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay, so, we, so there's a quarter out. in there because we had to put origami style to put it, it on uh, there. I don't know. No, <laughs> pretend you're making salmon in parchment. Oh, I see. So the <laughs> this this is to give it, it weight, you know. I think. Just so long as it stays okay, in there when it can't be here. Okay, so, so where do we need the thumb? You need the thumb tack to be where the quarter has really good. Because the thumb tack should go in before it's folded. So we have to get the thumb tack. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, but do you have the quarters? Yes. I mean, we do have a Nobel physics winner here here at the table. Whatever it is that you could have done, I really appreciate it. No, I've done it already, and this is the why the world is still here. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, hero. Yes. Okay. And Nobel Prize for this. All right, and we put it like this. See, that's what we figured out too. Okay. Fold. Oh no, my key's summoning me. Twist. Oh, you're doing twisting. Okay. It's, 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 like parch it's like parchment. Yeah. yeah. So if you do this like like that, right. then you can put it in your hand. And, and you send it straight up. Now. But it has to be straighter, it won't stick in there. Or you can touch it like that. And if should I should I have the tack side off? Oh, yes. So just just right. wait, but don't hit the lights behind. The, the weight is gonna pull it up. Yes, and when you when you want the, when you throw it, have it thrown so the tack side goes up. Okay, but look what there's lights behind you. The blind leading the blind. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I think I got it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to do a very dangerous stunt. Alright? Wow! 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 wow. 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 I am so glad you know you can. Thank you, thank you. I'll tell Granny on you. It's, it's okay, you can tell Granny. I look forward to meeting her. Alright. She's actually right there. She did. Oh, thank you, Granny. She oh, she is mind blow right there. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> 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 Any, don't have any, no, 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 impressive display compared to how it goes. Usually, yes, usually people like throw them up at the ceiling and then they'll, they'll have like two or three different chances where they'll, they'll toss it up and then it'll fall and they'll be like, I can do it, I can do it. And like, I have like the third or fourth one, they're like, I am incredible shame. But, and that is so like the one go loud noise that that, so that was, yeah, no, that was, that was, Pretty like pre I, I, I made I made Granny proud. Yes, yes, you did. Once upon a time, this whole bar was covered in them, and we just started doing this like a, maybe a month or so ago. And it's it's really rare that people actually get it on the first chance. Like sometimes I don't even get it on the first try. So like my, I tip I tip my feathers to you. Yes. <laughs> and if you look up there now, you can really see the snow on top of the mountain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> period, period photos. Yeah. Lady, lady. Yes, I was. So. What did you use to stick it? They, the waitress gave us a little thumbtack about it, oh. and so we just we folded it over and we just stuck the thumbtack in. And that's what did it. Yeah, but afterwards she was telling me she goes, most people don't get that on the first try. So oh. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how I did that. I've never done anything remotely like that before. But. Yeah. Good job. Like seriously, she just walks up me. You were the one that threw that dollar bill. <laughs> okay. I, wow! So now I'm, I'm being. Yeah, that is gonna be your ticket to fame. That's gonna be that right there in the shady lady yeah, is my no. ticket to fame. 
when I was walking past a bar here in downtown Durango, I saw that tonight they were doing improv comedy and stand-up. Now, I myself have a bachelor's degree in comedy, writing, and performance that I obtained from the Second City. So, at the expense of nothing to lose, I'm going to head down that way. And we're going to see if we can make anything interesting happen tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how this is going to go. This might be a bust. YOLO. Uh, welcome to the Starlight Comedy Night open mic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah! Congratulate yourselves for being fucking pieces of shit on a Monday. <laughs> Next up we have a newbie, uh, but he's not new entirely. Welcome Ken to the stage. Give it up for Ken. Give it up. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ken. Yes, I have been hearing it a lot this summer, ever since the Barbie movie came out. But not to fear, I will not be torturing you by singing I'm Just a Ken, because I'm not just a Ken. I am fucking Ken. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm a fucking tourist. Can you believe that? That's where I wound up in life. We Windows Live. So I'm hoping to meet some other exciting, adventurous travelers. Ladies and gentlemen, at 26 years old, the second youngest person in my tour group is 71. Oh, holy shit. He goes, oh, allow me, allow me to explain. I run a company called One Night Stand. We make vodka and condoms. <laughs> So people wearing a shirt that says one night stand, world's best condoms, I keep secrets. I, I think I'm owed some serious fucking royalty. So I literally, uh, I was, uh, every time I pull one on, my dick goes away. Like, <laughs> fucked up. I don't know. Very fucked up. Uh, shout out. Dude, I've got a whole hotel full of them. Come with. <laughs> Kid's grandma's definitely dead, but all right, that's all I got. All right. Pull up this. I will give you our address. Put it into Google Maps. I didn't say fuck this to her. She's a cute old lady, actually. I was like, uh, how about I give you our address and you put it into Google Maps? I then had to explain how Google Maps worked to her. She didn't know it was even on her phone. Thankfully, I spent too much time online, so we got it taken care of. Um, I, I'm a, I'm a... Fucking in the world. Oh, it's great. You should come in if you don't laugh like that. What? <laughs> 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 well, well, I think positive reinforcement. Um, yeah, I keep learning about shit. I, I, I gotta stop researching like the government because it makes me sad. <laughs> yo, yo, laugh cool, laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who's about conspiracy is with me. And it's my homie right here. What's your name, brother? Oh, man. What's up, Brooke? Uh, I'm on to you, lizard man. It's fine. <laughs> That's my CIA agent, Brooke. <laughs> He's here to just make sure I don't divulge too many secrets. <laughs> Oh. Sorry, sorry, it's my fault. I uh, I caused a noise complaint here during comedy one time, and it was just because of all of the people. Okay. All those people that just walked out, all of them, we don't need them. <laughs> Not for us. Those are those are the mean girls. Those are the mean girls in high school whose gym clothes didn't fit them and whose parents were divorced, but nobody talked about it. Gender roles are not important in my marriage. Like my wife said she's gonna get like a, a motorcycle and I was like, fuck it, I'll ride on the back. Yeah. So, I don't know how to ride my I don't know how to ride one. I'm just gonna be like, God, it feels like we're going fast right now. <laughs> Now I'm walking the streets of Durango at 11 at night. Just made some great new comic friends at that uh, Starlight Lounge. So, yeah, excellent night was had. My last night here in Durango. Tomorrow we take off for Santa Fe.
Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Starving, so we just ordered a few little things with grits some sparrows. No, it was pork ribs. And uh, it looks so good. Landfall has been made in New Mexico. Gum, yes. Because <laughs> I just might get some candy or something just to supplement the bus ride. How about you, Jim? You got a sweet tooth for any particular kind of candy or you're not I'm a candy? Not a big candy. I guess I chew a lot of gum. <laughs> I'm a gum chewer. Gum, there you I'm go. Always chewing. What you buying? 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 I don't know. It's so much. There's so many to pick from. I don't know. All kinds of stuff. So are are you are you a flaming hot kind of gal or what? No. No. I'm a, hot I'm a barbecue. Gal, not for that. <laughs> 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 It's very much of that vibe and yeah. Oh, I mean, just the building. It's just a little. They have a lot of seating here. A lot. Yeah, this almost looks like a party pavilion up here. But look, it goes, it goes on and on. <laughs> Sometime, or anybody know how to write it? Thank you. Per the request of the signs, I did not take any pictures or anything in the chapel, but it was very sacred. It was very deep. It's on the other side of the La Fonda on the Plaza. Where's the room? Oh, that's not the room. Oh, I didn't think anything happened. Well, they, they said there were staff members standing around, so let's see. Interesting looking place so far. Really nice looking restaurant. My room at La Fonda on the Plaza. I will say this hotel is uh, very extravagant and very nice. While still keeping that old Santa Fe, New Mexico charm. And born. There we go. It's... All right, we got to save extra pillows and hangers. Let's check out the bathroom. Watch your step. The shower is gigantic, so that's nice. Wow, very decently sized hotel. This is actually, really, this might be the nicest place we've stayed so far. Permitted we don't have any disasters or anything that happened later.
All right, so here's uh, what's happening tonight. It's kind of a free night in Santa Fe, and tomorrow is a free morning, free early afternoon in Santa Fe. So I put a message on the 80s in the Sand Facebook group saying, hey, is anyone around Santa Fe that maybe wants to meet up for dinner? And I got a message from two people, a couple, who are attending the Sands this year as first timers. They've never been there before. And they said, we'd love to meet up with you and talk about the Sands. Um, so that's who I'm going to meet for dinner tonight. So yeah, hopefully I can be a good guiding spirit for them and uh, give them all the tips and tricks they'll need for the Sands. So Felicia and Julio. A little early, so just walk around this neighboring little mall. Doesn't seem like a lot is open. It's Tuesday at 5.40. So. Silk Road Collections, look at this. But you can't even see like her skin complexion was so. <laughs> yeah. She does look like she might have. Oh, yeah. And her teeth didn't look good. Her hair and like her she skin. Didn't do math. Like her it, teeth are bad also. She just everything about her just looks so frail and not good. That's, and, called, that's called evidence right there. Yes. <laughs> and then if you want a, a full view of the shirt, there you go. Oh, there you go. One night stand. I keep sleeping. We're all excited because this is a new little uh, stop in where you can actually get bodega. a little bodega that just opened up recently. Oh, hey. So after hours, there is an option to pick up things where there never was before. Oh, yeah, there you go. Like th this right here, yeah. yeah. Snacks. Oh, yeah, this is big for downtown, This, is, this, this just it's opened up. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's a good, you know, relaxing, peaceful kind of night city vibe to strolling yeah, along. It is very peaceful. The nightlife. Yeah. Just right. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. This is... Uh, This is the Matador. Your age. Your age. They go down there. So that would be. So that's, that's like the, your, the club. Actually there and downstairs and downstairs there. That's where you kids go. Us old. Us old kids. Us old farts stay up on top. Hey, remember, remember who I'm in my group with. You people are some of the youngest that I've hung out with. That's a bad I think they start like at 11 o'clock. So, so go down there and it's a, it's a, it's a really good breakfast. Well, we've not, we've not been having breakfast. I don't know, but we like it. Yeah. <laughs> but their Jesus dinners Christ, are excellent. What? Hey, you're giving me some cheat codes for so, Santa Fe and, right I, and I can go with it. Yeah, for sure, but... Yeah. So, so the mountains, you go through it all quick. Oh yeah, because well, it's, it's, it's so dark over there right now. Uh, I can yeah. imagine it all well, lit see, up with the Christmas. See, I have, took this um, picture like right, the right mid, middle of the block. Yeah. yeah. So this so, right here, we probably sit on the ground for a day, a day and a half. Then it all melts. And then it snows again. Because it's so dry, and it it dries up. Yeah. Sun comes out, and it. a conclusion on today as we made our way here into Santa Fe, New Mexico.
Uh, that was a wonderful meeting I had with two soon-to-be 80s in the Sanders, uh, Felicia and Julio. And, uh, you know, I was talking about this trip that I'm currently on with Vacations by Rail. And Julio, he was really doing a good job pointing out just... I was telling him the stories of everything that happened and how filled with coincidences this trip has been. Everything from girl from Washington, D.C., guy from Illinois, the one girl that I did not keep contact with from my cruise from D.C., boom, we're both in Moab, Utah. Same time, same place. Mind-blowing. Uh, I'm walking through Durango, Colorado. The guy from the second city with the comedy degree, Monday night just so happens to be stand-up and improv night at that bar. So I get to participate in that. And then one guy in there tells me his mom lives in Tinley Park. Another guy in there went to University of Illinois. Like, it, this whole trip has just been coincidences. And at first I was kind of apprehensive about the thing because of the, the age group. And I didn't know if there was going to be a lot of free time for me to really to be able to explore. But I've been branching out like crazy on this trip. And that, it's, it's really, it, it's, everything happens for a reason. And this is really proving that to me with all this crazy stuff that has happened. These cosmic beings of just ugh, like how does all this stuff happen and it keeps happening to me like every trip I do is something crazy and it was an awesome night we were sitting in that in a bar watching a blues band play um yeah so gone are the colorful scenic yellow orange smaragdon green hills of Colorado and now we're we're in we're in New Mexico so uh tomorrow we're First half of our day is going to be in Santa Fe, and then the second half of the day we're heading up to Albuquerque. So it's flying by. We're flying through this, but let's see what other adventures await. All right, to start today off, we've got some free time around Santa Fe, so I'm just going to kind of stroll around, maybe do some souvenir shopping, and yeah. Weather today could not be any more perfect. Gonna use this opportunity to check out the Loretto Chapel. one church to another, the oldest church structure in the United States. Oldest house in the United States. It's interesting.
Hello again, Dale and Maria. Hello again. I'm looking for my little balloon to take home. Yes. No, you're my favorite, so I have to. <laughs> yeah, my, my main thing with that is just trying to find one that's not made of glass because I feel more comfortable, you know, putting it in a suitcase. I think I I'm going to put it, we're going to see what kind of box it comes in. I think I'm going to carry it on. Well, Julio gave this place a glowing recommendation, so let's check it out. It wasn't open. 209. Here I am. Alright. Our last leg of the trip. The Hampton Inn in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Alright, got some interesting drapery there. Table with uh, our work. Yeah, there we go. Ending off in a bit of a more traditional hotel setting. Some nice mood lighting. So, yeah, Albuquerque. We're here tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, pretty much the last two nights of the trip. So, this is winding down. It's honestly terrifying how fast this has gone. Uh, this Because from departure to going back home... Uh, it was nine days, and it's scary how fast <laughs> this has all gone by. But then again, I say that on every trip I do, so. Ugh. Albuquerque. Leave it to me to get the hotel room with the broken blinds. <laughs> Pull it down. Okay, there we go. We took the primitive approach. Prior to this trip, I never really knew about the first 48 on A&E, but I've been, every night, like late when I get back to my room, I've been hooked on watching this. This is a great homicide investigation show. Um, since this is the last time uh, that we're probably uh, quietly, <laughs> Uh, enjoying a meal together. I just want to take this opportunity to thank you all so much for traveling. Uh, not only just choosing Vacations by the Mail, but I feel really lucky um, that you are all the folks that I got to uh, travel with this tour. And um, what you know, I do a lot. I do a lot. Of, I do a lot of groups. And one of the things that I noticed particularly right away in the Chicago train station, was how quickly you all, when I asked you to walk around and introduce yourselves to the rest of the group, and to let's start a, forming a family right then and there. You all just did it so enthusiastically. And you didn't know it was a test at the time. Thank you. Thank you. test, um, because it actually helps me gauge kind of uh, what kind of people do I have? Are, is, are they going to be easy to meld together? Are there going to be activities or things I need to do to make you a family? I didn't have to because you all just so organically did it. And so my first toast is to all of you for, for coming with an open heart and an open mind, um, embracing your fellow travelers and embracing everything that you met along the way. So cheers to all of you for that. Um, I kind of stole it first. Here. It's always my hope that um, when you go home, you learn something, or it sparks a little bit of passion in you about something that you share with your family and friends. Uh, and I can already sense you guys asked the best questions. And even Holly said, man, you are good for asking questions. So a lot of curious minds 
Uh, so I feel kind of confident you're all going to go out there and talk to other people about the things that you learned uh, along this trip because uh, it's, it's about more than just seeing sights. A true traveler um, embraces what they see along the way, the people they see along the way, the people they meet in their group. Um, that's a traveler. You guys are all travelers. Yes. Uh, third, I would like to thank Donna. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, happy red bus. I'm happy we have the red bus. Yeah. <laughs> is so big and she gets us in and out of corners and tight squeezes and everything else. Save this for Mel. Um, but more yeah, than that, she for brought Mel. a smile every single day um, and uh, that's always uh, that's always appreciated. So Donna, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Watch it. And I just want, thank you for letting a young person mingle with this group. <laughs> Are you implying we're not young? No, someday, someday you're going to turn on Comedy Central. I've been saying this since I found out you're a stand-up. And one day he's going to be doing on us. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get the end on. He ain't going. Me too. I'll go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> and this is the first time I have done a train and a bus. I'm 75 years old. Yeah. We've never done this. And I have to say, you are the best. Yeah. Yeah. And you stand out. And all the tour guides that we have had worldwide, I don't care if it's Egypt, <laughs> India, South <laughs> Africa, I don't care where. All right, I just got out of the shower. Uh, guys, this has been such a bizarre trip. I mean, I started, it was, I was kind of apprehensive because I didn't know, I was not expecting to be the only person on this tour who is not a senior citizen. And I don't say that to be rude. I'm just saying the demographic of it. I'm the only person who's not a senior citizen, to be blunt, you know. And um, it's, it, tonight, after we f I filmed some of those accolades and everything being given, everyone begged me. They wanted to say, Ken, deliver the set that you gave at Stand Up the other night. None of us were there. We want to see you perform. So I gave him the one night stand condom story from 80s in the sand. The room was dying. All these jokes about me being the youngest person. The room was cracking up in stitches. And just, this has been such a bizarre trip because you have all this crazy stuff with me and all these older folk going on this extravagant journey. And then I've been having all these insane side quests during the whole thing. This is truly unlike anything I'm probably ever going to experience again. And I have been having a blast. Like, there was our last big group dinner tonight. So, I, uh, bittersweet. I, like I said, it's, it's so crazy. Um, so, the reason I'm all showered tonight, I'm getting ready to go to bed now. Uh, because we have to be up at 4 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, we have to hope, you know, fingers crossed. We don't know how the weather is going to be. It, it's supposed to be sunny. It's supposed to be clear. But it might be windy. Which could be a problem because tomorrow we're supposed to go to the Albuquerque Hot Air Balloon Fiesta. Uh, which if it's windy, you know, the balloons can't launch. But, uh, so we'll see what happens there. But the game plan currently is we're leaving the hotel like quarter to five. And uh, getting there early. So we'll see how everything goes. But regardless, this has just been such a bizarre, wacky, wild, grandiose adventure. And uh, it's definitely a new hallmark in my library of experiences. So, one full day left, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You've made it this far. <laughs> Come see the rest.
he wears cow ears? Why he flies? <laughs> Thank you, everybody. gonna contribute to the balloon fest. And I can get some more players. There we go. Made my mark. different of a model was it Sim uh, similar yeah this one looks like a uh, now right here this is for the five inch supply hose and this one here too so 
And what's nice is this is uh, uh, a um, immediate pack, which means they can just pull this right off the rig and it's hooked up on the other side and they could just start spraying water with it if oh, they have to. Perfect. But if you look under here, they can spray water or foam because it says foam on it. Yeah. So this truck also has foam on it too. Oh, there you go. And I bet you in here, now every department set up differently, but I bet you this is a paramedic engine. So they probably have paramedic gear in here too as well. So I'm going to head around this way. These are compartments, but I'm not going to open them. Yeah. <laughs> set off the alarm. Yeah, like I said, uh, for our uh, fire apparatus. Fire extinguisher. Yeah. Oh, no. One. Now, this is one of the uh, pre-connected lines. And if they have to, they can just pull that off. Uh, these are steps to get up to the hose bed. And then in here, see the big, huge yellow hose? Yep. That's the five inch supply line that they can hook up to the uh, side and the other end goes to the hydrant. Like that one right there. Yes. Now this is the primary function of this particular fire apparatus, okay? You pull up to the uh, fire scene. If there's um, a fu immediate fire, what you do is you immediately hit, hit tank to pump. And what that does is it, um, it starts the pump flowing but it automatically just transfers over, so it keeps pumping, so it uh, doesn't ruin the uh, pump, so to speak, because you have to continually have water going through it, otherwise you screw it all gotcha. up. Gotcha. Now this here is your pressure gauge to see how much uh, RPMs you have. You don't want to go it so low, so that you know they can just, like you're pissing, you know, <laughs> yeah. language. but you don't want to turn it all the way up too, where the RPM is so high that, you know, you can't, you're, you're going to be sending your firefighters off the ground. Yeah. So, um, this right here are the spanner wrenches. And these are used to actually uh, undo the hydrant. The top of the spanner wrench goes up here and you open up the hydrant like that. Yep. And the other side of that tool also uh, pulls these off as well. Gotcha. And then, uh, so say like you want uh, three different hose lines to attack the fire, you just open up like one, two, oh, uh, one, two. Hi. How's it going? Good. Would you guys happen to have t-shirts for sale here? We don't. No? Um, we sell them off of our website. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. The union doesn't really have any stuff on hand anymore. They just kind of make a metal order. Gotcha. Uh, so it's just local244.com or .org again. Okay. Cool. They have a place where you can just Very bad combination. Don't, don't try. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I didn't think that was that funny when I said it. <laughs> He's probably making a mental picture. <laughs> you know when I said I should have got that table in there and you said, no, we won't be able to see it. We got that table in there. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't hear I let her get in the cab of the fire truck. Yeah. I, I, it was the aerial tower. And she says, well, how do you start it? And everything. So I was showing her how to button, all the buttons and what everything does, thinking she would never remember. Well, six months later, it was in the middle of February. And I took her back down there because I had to do something. And she says, well, can I get in? I said, sure, why not? I forgot to say don't touch anything. She had everything on. Lights, sirens, oh. Oh. the garage door was closed. It was like 20 degrees below zero outside. The on-duty captain was not very happy with me. In your eyes I can see colors rise, colors of
just look She doesn't have to say She reads me like a book Turning page by page Just a one-night story I close the cover from this trip um, and uh, that you continue to always like embrace whatever joy and travel and adventure that uh, comes your way um, and so oh, thank you Ma. I'll, I will I will be in touch about all those stories yeah. So I hear there was a commotion with the bus. I got on the wrong bus. And then I came back and the bus was gone. I sat down. And everybody's looking at me. I know what, and then I got scared. I got scared. It was scary. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're all yeah. sitting in the bus watching yeah. this happen, yeah. <laughs> laughing hysterically. It's, it's it started with there. Nancy yeah. and it ends with yeah. Nancy. <laughs> you got to include that in your oh monologue. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> it's fitting that it's her that this yeah, happened. I know. <laughs> I didn't Where was? Hi, sweetie. Oh, I'll be oh. in touch. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end. A lot of heartfelt goodbyes, lots of contact information being swapped down in the lobby. Such a wonderful trip. And I, I'll say, I, when I was first in Union Station last week for the beginning of this trip, I was very apprehensive and I was very nervous just because I looked around and there was a lot of gray hair. And um, I said, wow, do I look out of place. But... Uh, my worries were quickly dissolved when everyone started opening their mouths and we got on the train and we just saw how crazy and silly everyone was. Everyone was outgoing. Nobody was a stranger by the end of this. Crazy Nancy. It started with her and ended with her now that she got on the wrong bus. Um, James and Sadie. Uh, Jerry and Becky. Uh, everybody, uh, Dale and Maria, Jim and Debbie, everyone here has just been phenomenal. It's been fun from 
the mountains, to the desert, to the balloons, to the drone, to the fire. Like, this has been a journey. And, and so much weird, because it was like a Looney Tunes cartoon when I was with my travel group here. But then whenever I would go off on my own, I would wander into some other crazy situation. Like Morgan in Moab. I am never going to live that down. How the one person that got away from me on the cruise that I couldn't exchange information with. She's from D.C. I'm from Illinois. Boom. We run into each other on the streets of Moab, Utah. Same time, same place, same day, same moment. Like that is insane. Monday night, we're in Durango. And there just so happens to be a comedy night there on Monday nights. So I exchanged my information and networked with a whole bunch of local comics all around my age. They're all asking me for advice in my second city history. It was phenomenal. I met first time Sanders this year, Julio and Felicia had a wonderful night in Santa Fe. It's just been one thing after another. And this trip completely blew past all the expectations I had, especially when I first walked into Union Station and I saw the rest of my group and I was just like, oh, but no, this has been absolutely amazing. If you followed it this far, I hope you've enjoyed it. And yeah, we return home tomorrow. Stormy way.